What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey. Back at y'all boys with another video, you feel me? Yes. Shout out to Bailey once again. Shout out. He is always and Shout has out. been so, so clutch. He's been part of the Patreon, the uh, $20 tier for us. And he sent this. You're a real one, bro. He sent this link for us to check out this video. So, so clutch. By uh, Crypt. Everything great about Eminem's uh, music to be murdered by part one. It just dropped a couple days ago. Hmm. We didn't know anything about it, but he let us know about it. Wanted us to check it out. We got you, Bailey. You always been rocking with us since day one, since we started the Patreon. So we gotta show you love for this one, man. Everything great about Eminem's music to be murdered by part one. Everything great. Still flashback into the everything wrong. Oh, with the, the Nick. Ah. Ah, poor Nick. Rosa, Coretta. <clears throat> poor Nick. Poor, poor Nick. I never said it was for Rosa and Coretta and them, bro. We'll never forget how he destroyed himself in their own Damn, rap battle. Bro. That's crazy. But let's check it out, man. Let's go. Music to be murdered But first, a word from our sponsor that is helping me through this financial nightmare of a situation called the coronavirus. Hey, get your blue money, man. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are going to love this one. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay, look, look. Yeah. I want to see what Let me he tell do. you guys something about this thing right here. <clears throat> So when you go out in public and try to use the internet, you're subjected to hackers trying to jack your info unless you I definitely know which ad, one of the ads he's going with. It's one of the the popular ads that uh, a lot of the bigger YouTubers use. It probably has something to do with making sure your network security is safe. Mm. So, hey, man. You said maybe, all that to say that. Yeah. Yeah. I see it a lot, man. Okay. I'll be on YouTube. We ain't got nothing else to do. Check out our channel. <laughs> Use a VPN, and that's what I'm here for. Keep them from peeking in mm -hmm. for a year or more. So I made this video back in the hotel room in Iowa. Use ExpressVPN to keep me Express safe in now Iowa. Because uh. it changed my IP, made it look like I'm in Paris. They're the top rated VPN provider, so don't compare it. Got that 24 7 customer support. If your content is blocked, they can unblock it for sure. Like in the EU article 13 says, you can't look at me. So check the description, get to click, and then come laugh with me. Dog, the point I want to make is this is an offer to take. They got the fastest speeds of any VPN in the game. So take a peek in the description, I got something you should see. Put the link it easily, you'll get three months for free. Woo! Now, nah, but seriously, guys, That's please go download bad. to the description down below and support ExpressVPN. <laughs> Before the music even begins, Eminem throws out a few hidden tidbits. The album itself is named after a collection of eerie music from director and producer Alfred Hitchcock, who normally specialized in the intense suspense category. The original album was designed by Alfred to be used during his suspenseful movies, more specifically during murder scenes, letting everyone know that the mood Eminem is creating for this album is murder. Also, one of the mm. several variations of Eminem's mm. album cover is a nod to the original album cover from none other than Alfred Hitchcock. Also, also, the artwork of this album is in cohorts with the title itself. Good homework, the though. I in music is an upside down knife, the C is an axe and a pipe combined, and the E in B is a sideways pitchfork. There's also a mm. nice throwback to the Slim Shady on the front with the stamp of a hockey mask, which was sported by Eminem during the height of his Slim Shady alter ego era. And one final thing about the cover art is the word murdered is made to look like it is pasted from magazine clippings, very similar to serial killers back in the day when they sent anonymous letters. All of this is tied together and synonymous with the word murder. The lead track from the album is called Premonition, which is defined as a strong feeling that something is research. about to happen, especially something unpleasant, <clears throat> which begins the continuity of this entire project's horror-filled uneasy vibe. This track begins with the sound of Eminem stabbing and presumably killing a female, and then digging the grave to bury <laughs> her in, essentially bringing forth the metaphor <clears throat> that we are about to listen to music that he just murdered someone to. Shortly after the killing, Eminem is heard having a conversation to which I have multiple theories. Theory 1. Em is talking to himself, saying we will never see eye to eye as much as I hate you, I need you. This could be in reference to Em saying that he's not a fan of who he's becoming now, but he knows there is still success there and he still needs this. Or, Theory hmm. 2, Em is talking to the rap game in general, saying they will never see eye to eye considering Em's many disses towards the new age genre of rap, and that as much as he hates it, he does need it because it constantly gives him new things theory to rap about, and in the end, it is still rap 
which is where his success lives. Hmm. Both of which can be counted as a win. At the end of this intro sequence, you can hear the actual voice from Alfred Hitchcock himself saying the name of the album, which is just dope in general. This hook is entirely slept on and underrated. I love it. This is just personal preference, but fuck you, I'm putting it in here. The opening line of this song is addressing the criticism received from Eminem's previous album, Kamikaze, true? which was filled with many songs dissing New Age rappers, as well as people who criticized the previous album, Revival. Mm, but spitter. Eminem points out that he was simply rapping to prove his ability was still sharp, yet everyone was overlooking that. The phrase chip on your shoulder can be referred to as thinking that you are more than what you are giving credit for, and Eminem is simply refuting that, <clears throat> saying that so many people have already considered him the greatest rapper of all time, so how does he have a chip? Eminem is basically just saying he's already given the credit as being the best so it's impossible to think that you're better than the best because you're already the best and good better best never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best fuck Bars. okay i have Bars. to take away a win for this punchline I, I just have to in this line eminem is basically stating that if he was doing yeah. rap only for the money that he could have quit a very <laughs> very long time ago considering being the millions real. amassed from his several platinum selling albums Someone Thus ensuring that Eminem still what loves rappers. What do you mean? Those bars, those crazy bars, man. <laughs> what do you mean? That's why I like Crip. He can be objective. He can he can be objective, man. Sometimes him don't have just every bar he, he drops. It's not just, oh my God. Some of it can be pretty corny, <laughs> right. bro. It's some of our favorite rappers have had some corny bars. That's that's part of hip hop, bro. You're gonna have some people that have corny bars. And you gotta you like, all right. Every single word can't be like yeah, it's, haymaker, 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 haymaker. Nah, there's going to be some... Setups. Yeah, there's going to be some hits. There's going to be some misses. Some but, throwaways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah, misses, yeah. some reaches. Yeah, so that's a little bit of reach. But M can be... He can be judged on that too, man. Come on, guys. <laughs> and that is the sole reason that he's still doing it, which is very noble in itself. This line is in reference to the length of time that these rappers have spent making music, yet Eminem feels as if nobody is telling them that they are too old for rap and have been we around say for too this long. Jay-Z has 13 too. solo albums and has been rapping officially since like 1988, I think. Yeah. Tech 9 has over 20 fucking albums. He's been doing it since 1991, has a song with Tupac, and 2 Chainz has been around since 1997 Damn. under a different rap name. Mm -hmm. All of these rappers are also in their 40s or 50s, and Eminem is just basically T -T giving an example of how he is unfairly criticized for his age and longevity. Also, so plus one for the Tech 9 shout out. Every album that Eminem has ever done has either gone gold or platinum except his very first album when nobody even knew who he was. In mm -hmm. fact, Eminem has 28 certified plaques. This line has many, many meanings. One meaning is that this is paying homage to LL Cool J, who is by far Eminem's heaviest influence in the rap game. Mm -hmm. Bigger and Deffer was LL's second studio album, acronymed as Bad, on the cover, which plays into the double entendre of M saying he still Shout sells 4 million cool copies too. of a quote-unquote oh, yeah, bad yeah. album. This also plays into another double entendre of M saying that he is now bigger in size and deffer to the hate. Revival certainly mm. was not received well by the public, so in response, Eminem surprised <laughs> released Kamikaze the following year, which most definitely was received far better than Revival, mm -hmm. and reminded most of the general public, do not piss Eminem off. Rolling Stones reviewed both Eminem's Revival and Kamikaze. They gave the more publicly accepted album Kamikaze a 2.5 star out of 5 rating, <laughs> and the rather disputed album Revival a 3.5 star out of 5 rating, which to me automatically shows how out of touch with the general public that the Rolling Stones truly are, but Eminem makes this comparison to Rolling Stones giving his favorite rapper, LL Cool J, the exact same 2.5 star rating out of 5 on Bigger and Deffer, or the wow. bad album in which Eminem referenced earlier, which mm. Eminem considers a timeless classic album. Basically, all this means that Eminem is saying his favorite rapper got a 2.5 out of 5 stars, then it's definitely going to happen to him, happen and it pretty much just dissolves show. Rolling Stones' credibility. Mm -hmm. This line is in reference to Tom Brady, the former quarterback for the New England Patriots. That's crazy. Yes, former. He's a crazy. free agent. Suck my dick. <laughs> but many people consider Tom Brady the greatest quarterback of all time who also receives more hate than any player I have ever seen. Mm. There's such an undeniable amount of greatness to Tom Brady and his accomplishments, but he is a very easy person to dislike because of those accomplishments. Mm -hmm. And Eminem is feeling that like exact Brady. same comparison That's a funny to the thing. Game. A lot of people don't like Brady. Ooh, there is a lot yeah, going on. Yeah, there's a lot of people that don't like this. Brady, bro. You know Maybe that. You need to refund more. The previous line See. referring to James is referencing LL Cool J, who Eminem spent the last few lines talking about, but I also feel like this could be referencing NBA player LeBron James, who is also compared very similarly to basketball as Tom Brady is to football and as Eminem is to rap. There's a few things to unpack with this one. I like it. This is one of my favorite things to do when I make a song. 
spell something while rapping while people don't even know that you're spelling something. That's dope, Now, too. this one is a little bit of a stretch because you have to stanza it out correctly, but Eminem literally spells the word GOAT, which stands for greatest of all time, and the following lines begin with the next letter in succession to spell the word GOAT again using rap lines only. Like I said, it is a bit of a stretch because you have to format it correctly, mm -hmm. but it definitely looks like it was okay. intentional. Also, mm -hmm. the rhyme scheme in this one little section specifically is nuts. There's not a single syllable that doesn't rhyme with something else in the stanza. I don't have the time to colorfully label it like I want to right now, but I plan to at some point in the future, and I'm sure this isn't the only part of the song that does this, I just actually audibly caught this when making this video. I feel like this is one of the best back and forth lines of this entire album, and I'm definitely gonna have to give this more than one point. But Eminem is practically saying that no matter what he does, he can't get it right. Before Revival, mm -hmm. people said Eminem was amazing at rapping, but that he wasn't really saying anything. I specifically yeah. remember Joe Budden on his podcast pointing out that M yeah. was one of the greatest <clears throat> rhymers, but he wasn't saying anything, which is why he wasn't one of the best rappers a lot. Then when Eminem put out Revival, which was a lot of Eminem rapping his beliefs on politics and life in general, mm -hmm. it was received horribly, and he was swamped with comments of people wanting the old Slim Shady yep. back. But then when he actually brought back the feeling of Slim Shady on Kamikaze, everyone called him bitter and angry. <laughs> Eminem also experienced the pull of people hating his sound on trap style beats like Tay Keith produces, and then mm -hmm. wanted him back on some Dre sounding Sweet. beats. And he also experienced the inverse of this, of people tired of him being on Dre beats and wanting him on more Tay Keith sounding beats. Mm -hmm. It's literally a perfect representation of people pulling him in both directions, neither one of them being the correct direction. Yep. I'm gonna give it five wins. He also ends this in a slick double entendre by saying he has more hooks in him than Sway Lee, who is a member mm. of Race Remed, who is known to sing the majority of the hooks for the rap duo. Mm -hmm. Also, I learned while doing research for this that Race Remed is ear drummers backwards, and I know it's unrelated, but I'm gonna count this as a personal win. Eminem has a tattoo of his daughter <laughs> Healy on his right bicep, so if he lifts enough to where her face stretches, it means that he is simply getting stronger and his biceps are getting bigger. This mm, is another okay. solid example of Eminem constantly experiencing the back and forth of the rap game and the people that respond to it. Basically, no matter what he does, it's wrong. Here, Eminem ties back to earlier when he mentioned Tech 9 Jay-Z, and 2 Chains by assuring that there was no disrespect whatsoever, but he just wanted to show that instead of being credited for rapping as long as they have with such skill, they always get told that they'll never be as good yep. as they once were. And then Eminem follows it up with the best line of the entire talk. song. Mm -hmm. Bitch, if I was half as good as I was, I'm still twice as good as you'll ever be, Facts. which deserves 10 wins. Here we have a nice slick triple entendre. Obviously, the letter V comes after you, and Eminem says that the only... Yeah, that... Man, he caught this shit. Bruh. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the hardest bars. Now, that's, that's a combo killer right there, bro. Combo. The only Wombo. way that you're ahead of me is alphabetically, because if you diss me, I'm coming after you. Like the letter V, when that shit hit me, yeah. hit. I was in that hallway. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like. It was one of them situations. Yeah. It's, like, okay, it's, M. Okay, M. I it's up you. there. It's up there with the uh, the classic Drake line, uh, Blasphemy, coming at you. With the God. Bah, that's. You know, we didn't even catch that on camera, though. We didn't. That's the crazy thing. We caught that bar off camera. I was like, mm, blasphemy. I'm or did we? Nah, no, it was, it was off camera, bro. Yeah. I think that was off camera because yeah. we were just hyped up with the vibe of the song. We're talking about the Rose Gold track with uh, Drake and Rick Ross. Mm -hmm. And that bar, blasphemy, would come <laughs> like six with the God. Bro, combo. <laughs> Those that's what makes dope tracks, bro. When yeah. you can listen to it and then you go back and listen to it again, you caught something you didn't catch before. That's what makes music so great. You can re-listen to it and have a new experience almost every time sometimes. That's true, bro. Go hit. <clears throat> yeah. Only way that you are ahead of him is alphabetically, so you know, you and V and all that stuff. But he also says he's coming after you like the letter V, as in coming for your throat or coming after you with malicious intent. <coughs> this can also mean that the V or victory comes after you. So Eminem is saying after he comes after you, just, he will always have the flames, V bro. or victory. This, yeah, last one is a little bit of a stretch, but hey, sue me. But this is not near as much of a stretch that the people over on Genius try to make this shit. Like they <laughs> Ultraviolet radiation, abbreviated to UV, which are sun rays that can cause severe damage. <laughs> And lead to cancer. See, However, M is also referencing V for Vendetta, <laughs> a novel written by Alan Moore in 1982. <laughs> made a film in 2006 about defiance against the government. This is why I like Crip, bro. Because he can be so, so objective to stuff like this. You don't know how many comments we get 
when motherfuckers is doing just yeah. this. No, yeah, no, this no. right here. Oh, y'all missed it. You know what I'm saying? And he then was- they expect you to catch everything <laughs> the first time you listen to something. After they done did a whole... <laughs> Hypothesis. Oh, over M is also up. referencing the V for Vendetta as a yeah. novel written by Alan Moore in 1982. I made a film like, in 2006 bro, shut up. about the defiance. Of, bro, like, our niggas in the comments. Be we silent, not bro. reading. We appreciate all the comments we get, but we not reading that shit. I'm just. I'm and letting you know this, now. Bro. I never read this novel. I'm not reading it. It's cool, bro. If you if you know the deeper meanings to that bar. Fucking A. Fucking A. Fucking A. Awesome. Damn. But we not about to. Nor do we give a shit. Oh, my. He's a man. He be going ham, bro. I appreciate you, Crip, for pointing this out. Even though this is not a comment, these are comments we get yeah. all the time. We need to make a video of just the outrageous Eminem comments, bro. Yeah. We need to. Should. Because we need to show y'all. Comment down below if we should do that. If Comment down below if we should go through all our latest Eminem vids and comments like this where people just go overboard with overanalyzing some of the simplest of bars. Well, After he's really heard it 52 times <laughs> and they get mad at you for not catching it on your first time. <laughs> Shout out to you, Crip, man. That's trying to tie it to V for Vendetta Humans. and like ultraviolet and shit. <laughs> This is why I don't use Genius as research, okay? Literally anybody can type this shit in. Don't use Genius for research. Only use it to know what the lyrics are. That officially concludes part one Shout of everything great care, about music to be murdered by. I plan to Shout try to, to do the entire thing. album yeah, if man. you guys want. Please make sure to drop a like and share this video. Oh, if you man. guys enjoyed this, if you found out something new. Never use Genius as research, okay? <laughs> Always do your own research because anybody can Boys go to be Genius and genius make when they come out of video on there. Now, there's a lot of songs on this album. But damn it, we're stuck in a coronavirus quarantine and I'm going to do every fucking one of them if you guys want it. But just a couple last minute things. I do have some okay. leftover hoodies in stock. I was Pretty going lit. to take these right. on tour with me in April. Y'all definitely go check out Crip if you haven't already. Man, go and by the time it's July, I'm not going to take yeah. hoodies. Go subscribe to his channel. For sure, bro. Um, he does, clearly he does a lot of research yeah, other so. than <laughs> rap genius. <laughs> That's crazy. It's because it say genius, boys. <gasps> Like I said, like we was talking smart. about, man, if y'all want us to go through the plethora of comments we get almost every day of just people that just go a little bit too far with the Eminem love and, and overdose on this illogical mumbo jumbo, they be typing full paragraphs, we will. Comment down below. Let us know if you want us to do that. Do that. I think that would be a hilarious video. Do that. Do that. Because... Y'all be doing too much sometimes. Way too much. Too much. <laughs> but if y'all like that video, man, you know what to do, man. Make sure you hit the comment down below. Uh, hit the like down below. Make sure you comment as well. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. Go support the homie Crib. Go subscribe to his channel as well. Show. Link to this original video will be down below. Yeah. So go let them know that the Clutch Squad sent you. Yeah. Um, support our channel. Follow your boys on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. We quarantining in this thing. You feel me? Yeah. Dropping Not that really. content, though. Not really, but really. But yeah, yeah. we dropping that content. Let us know what other videos we should check out. Found nothing else. Woo! Y'all know who it is. And if you don't, we in the clutch, baby. Already. Everything lit. Everything lit. The bitch better take a shot. She better not spit. The back we lit. The money we get. They doing the clown shit. But she know that we it. Ooh.